Today, Democrats are the founders of worst nightmare come true. I think most Americans are probably wishing they could impeach the Democrats. To them, I say, you can next November. I yield back. Gentleman from California. That noon is even good to those things. Mr. Speaker, I think with the history of this time, is there's written, your it will shit show again. That when my colleagues oh, shit the courage to stand up to this unethical president, they consoled themselves by attacking those who did. I now recognize the gentleman from California, Mr. Takano, for a unanimous consent request. Gentleman's recognized. Madam Speaker, I ask unanimous consent to enter into the record my remarks supporting the impeachment of President Donald Trump. That objection is so ordered. Madam Speaker, I request unanimous consent uh, for the gentlelady from New York, Ms. Clark, uh, for her request. The gentlelady is recognized. Madam Speaker, I ask unanimous consent to enter into the record my remarks supporting my vote for the impeachment of Donald J. Trump. Well, don't Madam expect to get elected next year. Madam Speaker, I recognize the Most gentlelady of you. from California, Ms. Napolitano, for unanimous consent. <laughs> That's request. a good thing. Madam Speaker, I ask unanimous consent to enter into the record. Damn, lady. My remarks. They brought you back from the dead, didn't they? Sorry, I'm just pissed. Madam Speaker, the gentlelady from Ohio, Ms. Beatty, for unanimous consent request. Gentlelady is recognized. Madam Speaker, I ask unanimous consent to enter into the record my remarks supporting the impeachment of President Donald Trump. Objection. You need to retire, lady. Speaker, well, you are. <laughs> You're going to lose. Madam Speaker, I ask unanimous consent to enter into the record my remarks supporting the impeachment of President Donald Trump. That objection is so ordered. The hatred they have. You can see it in their eyes, man. Mr. Pasquale, for one minute. Gentlemen's recognized for one minute. Oh, here we go. Madam Speaker, uh, we're here today because of the failure of so many to cast aside narrow ambition to confront the threat standing before us, or for the chance to investigate this government together. Have to make articles of impeachment. And it ain't a debate. Because they choose comfort over courage it and com avarice over the republic. This is the ongoing tragedy. This is a crime right here. It is ongoing. The matter is now solely in our hands and belongs to us and us alone the buck has stopped many have evoked the judgment of history as an anecdote to this threat but the threat to democracy is here today not tomorrow we need not we must not await the verdict of time for donald trump's abuse of power and obstruction we can offer that verdict right now and we are gentlemen yields back gentlemen from georgia Thank you, Madam Speaker. I yield three minutes. I like Ohio, him. Ohio, Mr. Jordan. Gentlemen's recognized for three minutes. I think the gentleman. Oh, is yeah, my guy. Democrats forgot two key things. Forgot about the facts and they forgot about fairness. Four facts will never change. We have the call transcript. No quid pro quo. We have the two guys on the call, <clears throat> excuse me, who've repeatedly said 